I am the Rook. My name comes from a Western Arabic word that means chariot. The chariot was one of the four divisions of the Indian Army. The others were the infantry, the cavalry, and the elephants. I have also been called the castle, the tower, the rector, the marquee, and the boat. But if you call me anything else but a rook, I'll smash you. I am second only to the queen in terms of my power of movement. I can move parallel to the sides of the chessboard across any number of unoccupied squares in any file or rank. I can move forward, backwards, or sideways, but not diagonally. If an enemy is in my path, I can smash him and take his place. At the beginning of the game, I can't do much because everyone is in my way. I hate that. I want to smash things. I'm best at controlling long open lines of squares. I am most powerful when I work as a team with my brother Rook, who starts the game at the opposite end of the board from me. If I start on the Queen's side, then I am the Queen's Rook, and my brother would be the King's Rook. Pay attention, because I am going to demonstrate gasoline, and I am only going to go through it once. If you don't understand, I'll smash you. The ancient Italians viewed the Rook as a fortress in which the king could flee for safety when he was threatened. This point of view evolved into the modern system of castling, which can only occur once per player per game. It's the only time a player can move two pieces during a single turn and the only time a king can move more than one square per turn. This is a castling maneuver. This move usually provides more safety for his majesty and puts me in a better position to bust some heads. Castling can occur if the king and the castling rook have not previously been moved during the game and if the king is not in check. Obviously, the squares between the king and the rook must be unoccupied. In this situation, castling could not occur because the king would have to move through check to reach his destination, but his majesty can still castle in the other direction. Castling occurs in about 95% of all chess games. And in 90% of these games, the players castle with King's Rook because there are fewer pieces to move out of the way. And that's all there is to it. It should now be obvious to you that a Rook laughs at danger. I scare the pants off of most other chess pieces. Entire armies break like crashing waves against me, leaving me unharmed. I fear nothing. You who? Well, almost nothing. 
Oh, oh.